welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Shara Day I would greatly appreciate it if you smash the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell which is a little bell like next to the subscribe button put it to all so you don't miss when I post more videos you can follow me on Instagram at xoshardae and also like on Facebook xoshardae and all the other social media platforms today we're going to be unboxing the Yeezy Foam Runner MX Sand Gray and it just seems so weird for that to be the name of these shoes but that's the name of them and i'm so in love with them there's back in december i remember seeing kim kardashian make a post on her story of her son saint wearing these shoes i immediately fell in love with them i screenshotted them shared them on my instagram i'm like when do these come out because i need them i am pregnant with a baby boy and i have a little girl and i just felt like it made sense for me to get them so when they were released december 11 2021 which i believe was the release date um i went online like my mom even went online and we tried to win the shoes i did not win them even for my uh, other pair of yeezy foam runners we did not win those either and we actually paid over like the retail price i actually was gifted those for my boyfriend they were like the tan color i don't know how much he paid for them but they definitely were way overpriced i just heard so many good things about them as far as being super comfortable so when i tell you guys ever since i got my first pair of phone runners i wear them every wear they are super comfortable they're the best shoes i've ever had i do not have the original yeezy slides i do want those but when it came up to the option to get the yeezy slides or to get the foam runners i'm like i want the foam runners because there were so many fakes of the yeezy slides and the foam runners just seem if i'm gonna be paying a price i just want them to be a little bit more unique i know a lot of people have um comments about them being like alien shoes or they're not that cute whatever however you choose but i feel like they're super unique they're definitely screaming yeezy and they're head turners like when i go in the airport people are always like looking down you know like they're trying to figure out what shoes they are but they're comfortable and i'll wear them time after time again so i'm not gonna talk too much i know y'all clicked on this video because y'all want to see the shoes and they are right here so when i first got my other pair of um foam runners i was so confused i'm like i think he got them like stock x or something i'm like did they just give me a box from their their whole stock like is this a yeezy box so i instantly was like super underwhelmed but then when you open it you see here it says foam and down here it says runner i'll show you guys that in a second so if you end up getting these and you're like why does it look like that and you think exactly what i thought that you've been given like a little shitty box or whatever that's not the case when it comes to these foam runners this is just how they are made and i will be telling you guys the sizing that we got so here are the shoes so this is how the box is so it will come it says foam it has a runner and it has like the information on the inside there for pricing wise like i said i did not win on these i actually got them as a gift for my birthday a couple of weeks ago i think my mom paid about 300 dollars for them i'm not saying you should go out and run and go buy them because yes it is way over the release price but i wanted them for a specific reason because <laughs> they're pink and blue and my mom was so nice enough to get them for me so i'm so happy mom thank you mom in case you're watching this video uh so this is the shoe here in the, in person the colors are a lot more vibrant so you have the pink you have the blue coming in you have like a lighter khaki color up to like the darker khaki color you have like the three stripes still your traditional like this is the exact shoe if you have any other foam runners like i have i'm just not showing y'all right now because they're pretty dirty i'm not telling you guys i'll wear them shoes out um they're pretty dirty but it's the exact same thing it's just a different color and what i like how the ombre just fades in i like how the pink is on there i love the blue my favorite color is blue if you you know if you're new and you're you're gonna find out i literally love blue everything is blue so just come to my your tag here i love them i think they're absolutely beautiful for a slide like i think the colorway is super cool 
I'm glad that they put these colors together. You don't typically see like pink and blues in shoes like this, um, but I really like them. So for sizing, I got a size six. They do not come half sizes. So just so, you know, be aware of that. Like say you wear seven and a half, but some shoes you can get away with an eight, you should be getting like the bigger size. I would say size up versus sizing down in these shoes. I normally wear a size six in men's. I've always worn a size six in men's. Sometimes I can wear six and a half. It really just depends. My ankles are so skinny and what I did not like about my first pair of foam runners was that I just felt like they weren't snug enough around my ankles and I just didn't like the way that that felt. I, I didn't like how loose it is. Like you don't want it to be super loose. However, if you end up getting the wrong size and they're like a tad bit too big, you can wear them with socks, you can still wear them because my other pair, I still wear them. And I, like I said, I believe those are a six. I just think that this version was more accurate when it came down to the sizing of the shoe. Because like I was saying, like it's not too loose around my ankle at all. It actually fits a lot more snug and it fits front to back. I wanna be able to just slide these on when I'm walking on the beach. And I still wanna be able to put some uh, socks on and wear them if I wanna wear them with socks. I know because obviously it's cold right now. This is not like a fall winter color, even though I'm still gonna wear them. But you know, some people think about that. They're like, I'm not gonna be wearing them right now. It's more like my summer slide. But I feel like if you wanna wear them in the winter, you can definitely wear them in the winter. You just wanna make sure that you have enough space back here to fit a sock. But for me, I wanted them to be able to fit, you know, just sliding them on just like regular slides. So I'm gonna show you guys um, them on. I know a lot of people have been saying super different things when it comes to sizing of this shoe and they're skeptical about like ordering because they don't know what size to order. I don't wanna confuse you. I know in a women's size, I wear a seven and a half or like a 38. In my men's shoes, I typically wear a size six. So I got a size Six. you can't go wrong just don't do them too small like I can't justify you getting a shoe that's too small I don't know how long your toes are I don't know how um, narrow or wide your feet are so all of those things come into play be on the safer side and size up if you feel as though sizing down may be a little bit too close um, the way they're made like my fingernail stops like right here. So it's still like enough, it's about a half an inch from the top of the shoe because of how they're made. So that's why I see most people saying like size up. Um, I can see how that could be relevant because how the toe is and how much of the foam gathers is very kind of narrow at the top and goes to a point. So don't try to squeeze into a smaller size thinking that, oh, it may be, it may work. Don't do that, because you're gonna have crunched up toes and nobody wants that. But yeah, so I think they fit me perfectly. Do I regret getting them at a higher price? No, I don't. This is gonna be a shoe that I'm gonna have for years. I feel like it's very futuristic. It, I don't think that it's a trend. Um, I don't see too many people being able to duplicate them or they be a fake, especially with all the detail in this shoe. So if you're interested and you really want them, I can't tell you how to spend your money, but I love them. I will definitely buy them again. But that's pretty much my review on them. I like them, I give them a 10 out of 10. So yeah, hope y'all like this video. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you're feeling these shoes. It takes somebody, like it takes a very unique person to pull these shoes off. Once you wear them, you're gonna be like, well, why haven't I gotten them sooner? You're not gonna care what other people think. You're not gonna care when people looking at you crazy. These shoes are hot, they're popping, and they're worth it to me. And I just can't wait to get more and add to my collection. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.
my uh, shade change from the winter is definitely showing. So I need to figure that out. But I just want to show you guys them on feet. And you can see by the fit even here, it's not too loose. And at the back, it's not too loose. So they're a perfect fit. Overall, I love them like I've been saying this whole video. So comment down below um, if you like them better on too.